Hey everybody, it's Poncha here, bringing you the latest and arguably greatest PS Vita coverage uh, on YouTube right now. That's a total lie. Um, we're going to go ahead and go through photo, video, and music apps today, and we're also going to go ahead and go through the uh, content manager. Uh, as always, if you don't want to hear me talk about stuff you really couldn't care less about, you can go ahead and look in the information below, and I've provided time links to uh, topics that you probably want to hear. So if you just want to cut the fat, get down to brass tacks, you know, always, as always, go to the information below and skip to the parts you really want to hear about. It's becoming a habit. Everybody wants to know what wallpapers I'm using, so at the beginning of every video, I'm just going to cycle through my wallpapers. My lock screen is Goku and Gohan on a scooter, you know, taking a nice father-son ride. First screen is uh, this gorgeous girl on a beach. Second screen, Lugia from Pokemon. Third, Bioshock. Fourth, the Master Sword from the uh, Zelda series, and fifth, another gorgeous woman, uh, barely clothed and biting onto a skipper's hat. Anyway, uh, moving on. So, um, now we're just gonna go ahead and jump right into music real quick. Now, uh, the music app is pretty, you know, pretty basic. Uh, Sony's done it before with the PSP. Uh, you can sort by artist, album, song, genre, shuffle all your music. But also you can go frequently played, recently played, which is some interesting uh, stuff. Now let's go ahead and choose an album. Let's go ahead and choose Camp, Childish Gambino's newest album, which is amazing. Everybody should listen to it. I'm going to go ahead and start playing uh, Bonfire. Press play. Now you have your, uh, your basic controls, uh, back, forward, pause, uh, equalizer. Not a lot of options, but you know options are there. You have shuffle and repeat. <laughs> now the cool thing that PS Vita does is it does support full custom soundtracks so let's go ahead and uh, hop right out of there and go over to Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 and continue now as you can see this music is still playing and uh Sound effects still come out, but the music is dulled. I mean, if you own an Xbox 360 and you've ripped music to there, you know exactly how this works. So, just go ahead and, uh, works pretty straightforward. Oh, look, holler at your boy. Anyway, so let's go ahead and, uh, go ahead and, uh, hold on, go right back into there. I want to demonstrate one more quick thing. Uh, at any point, you can just tap the P, uh, hold the PS button real quick brings up this uh, very iOS-like uh, uh, menu. Go ahead and control the volume of the custom soundtrack. Want it really loud, go ahead and do that. You can go and pause it, and upon pausing it, the game soundtrack does start playing. So, pause, and the music starts playing, just like that. Anyway, so let's just go ahead and uh, exit out of there real quick. Uh, that was pretty much it for the music. Uh, let's go ahead and go to the uh, video section real quick. Now it shows all the content that you've transferred to your PS Vita, as well as uh, stuff you've got from the PSN store and stuff that's located on the PC. Let's go ahead and go into that. Um, yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, if you use a, a special, if you use special software, like uh, there's uh, some software that's been around since the PSP was available. Uh, it does make uh, little thumbnails, which is uh, really cool. But if you just download videos straight from uh, a web browser or something, uh, they just show up as regular stuff. No, no thumbnails. Uh, uh, stuff looks really good. Here's a video that I recorded of a uh, concert off my iPhone. Uh, the OLED screen really makes it pop. Uh, it's it it just looks good. I don't know how else to say it. Um, viewing cartoons on it is also cool. You got possibly one of the greatest animes ever made, Dragon Ball Z, of course. Uh, once again, the OLED screen makes it look really good. The colors really pop out at you. Um, much better than viewing on a PSP. I'll tell you that right now. Uh, going back, also handles. Um, Video game stuff too. This is a video that I recorded off of Grand Theft Auto 4 using the Carmageddon mod. Uh, thing is, things are just getting totally out of hand at this point. But um, like I said, uh, viewing video on a Sony handheld isn't new. But the OLED screen really does make all really does make a big difference. Uh, everything just looks uh, brighter, more colorful. Uh, it just looks it just looks good at this point. 
and uh, that's pretty much it for the video application. You can go ahead and uh, copy stuff to uh, whatever you have it plugged into your PC, PS3. Uh, you can go ahead and delete stuff too if you want. Uh, you can sort by name, date. Uh, you can, uh, if you have enough videos, you can sort by letter as well. Um, that's pretty much it. And we can go ahead and uh, hop out of that real quick. Next we're going to go to photos. Now from photos when you click on the application, these two icons take you to the camera. Hey everybody, sorry for this weird jump cut. Uh, this is pretty much how the camera application works. Um, as you can see when you move around, uh, the response time isn't that, I mean it's one on one but the image is very blurred. But uh, then again, Sony's not really expecting you to go ahead and take, you know, professional quality photos with this thing. This is pretty much just here for augmented reality purposes and whatnot. Um, this is how it pretty much performs in uh, good lighting. Uh, my window's open over there, you can see. Uh, but let me go ahead and uh, turn off my light real quick. This is how it handles itself in low lighting. Uh, pretty much the same. Uh, you can't really tell, but there's a lot of grain, a lot of noise going on on the screen. But you know, that's expected from a camera of this quality. Like I said, it's not the greatest, uh, ladies and gentlemen, but uh, it gets the job done. Really, the response time is fast enough when you're dealing with augmented reality, and uh, the quality is good enough as well. Let's just go ahead and uh, close up, just to see how it deals with uh, close up images. Um, it does actually pretty well uh, when you're dealing with uh, zooming in on really close stuff. Uh, I figured that would come in handy for obviously some augmented reality, and uh, it's got a pretty uh, wide viewing range and whatnot. But uh, that's pretty much it. Oh. Uh, these functions over here, this turns on uh, location. Hold on, I actually turned it off. It turns on location, goes ahead and it uh, gets your location data if you want to go ahead and put that in the information of the photo you take. Taking a while. Apparently, you couldn't obtain the photo, <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> the location data. Anyway, um, this changes uh, forward to back camera. Hey, that's me. Look at that. And this changes the uh, aspect ratio. Uh, you can do like a, a portrait mode, a uh, 4x3, then uh, 16x9 right here. This button right here just takes you to, uh, just takes a picture, obviously. And it's going to save the picture. You can also press this trigger right here for taking pictures. But that's pretty much it, you guys. Uh, this is pretty much it for the camera application. And uh, next we're going to go ahead and look at the album application. All right, let's go ahead and go into the albums. Now from the albums you can view your photos that you've taken on the camera, you can view photos that um, you've uh, screenshotted and stuff like that, pretty straightforward. And from here is also where you uh, go ahead and change your uh, lock screen image. Uh, I have a total video dedicated to changing uh, background images and stuff, it's, go it's uh, linked right here. But just really quick, you can go ahead and click it, click this little button down here, come on, and use the start screen. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Now uh, it's time to go into the content manager itself. Go ahead and do this. Now from here you can copy from your PC to your PS Vita system, vice versa. You can create backups or store from the backup. Now connecting to the PC is uh, as simple as pie. Uh, you just go ahead and uh, plug the leads into the PS Vita, then to the PC itself. Then the content manager pops up, and then you can choose your directories from where your PC pulls uh, video, music, and photos. And it's pretty straightforward. So let's just go ahead and uh, copy content from the PC to the PS Vita. Now the only thing really implemented in this application is copying applications. If you want to copy video, music, and photos, you can just go ahead and do that straight from the individual applications. Uh, if you notice when I was covering them, at the bottom of every selection you saw PC, and we're going to go back into that later. Now I want to talk about this application. Pretty much uh, the only thing that you need for this application is copying actual applications in the content manager. Because whenever you click on video, music, and photo, it, it takes you to those individual applications, and you just go ahead and do it from there. Uh, I don't know if you noticed, but whenever we were going through video, photo, and music, you saw at the very bottom PC option and from there that's where you copy your stuff from the PC or your PS3 whichever you have it connected to. 
Uh, I'm not going to go ahead and go through each and every single one because the interface is exactly the same. But let's just go ahead and uh, hop in applications from here. You can copy PS Vita games, PSP games, and PSP saves. These are all the applications I have on my PC right now. And as always, you can just uh, click on them, you know, select them, copy them, delete them. Uh, pretty straightforward. And like I said, the video, music, and photo are all the exact same interface so let's just go ahead and uh, hop into let's just do video for now so go into video like I, I can't stress this enough um, every single thing you go into uh, you're gonna have an option for PC at the bottom whether it be photo video or music so simply you just click on that um, it's gonna take you into the folder that you specified earlier in the content manager and then this is all the stuff you can copy and you click this you hit copy and then you just uh, select what you want to copy from you know your PC to your whatever some things aren't compatible you know that's just how things go but that's pretty much it um that's the basic gist of everything um if you guys have any questions or concerns if you want to if you want me to go in depth on anything just go ahead and post them in the comments below as always, you guys can find me on Twitter, and you can add me on the PlayStation Network. Go ahead and uh, send me a message on the PlayStation Network, or send me a message on uh, Twitter. Just at me, whatever have you. Be more than happy to answer any questions you guys have. And as always, stay safe, stay classy, and stay based.